Hey guys and girls, welcome back to No Recipe Required. Today I'm going to do French onion soup, one of my all-time favorite soups and one of the easiest to make. Really the hardest thing is cutting the onions and we're going to go ahead and do that now. So here I've got, uh, I've got one medium onion. I'm going to take the top and the bottom off. Like I said, this soup is so simple, the most complicated thing is cutting up the onion. Take the top and bottom off, just like we always do, and I'm going to cut this guy in half, um, and then take the outside layer off. Onions, um, they're obviously delicious. The, uh, they, they make, tend to make a lot of people cry. I don't know any way around that other than trying to work quickly. Use a sharp knife um, to get through it quickly, and, um, and use a, go in a well-ventilated room. After I've got that outside layer off, there's a root end here that kind of holds all the layers together. I'm going to cut in at a diagonal there and remove that root end, essentially make a V on the end. Throw that away, that's garbage. And then we're going to julienne the, uh, the onion. So I'm going to hold it the long way. So here's the top, here's the bottom. And then I'm going to go right through, diagonal, all the way through. See here I've got my fingers curled back and I'm going to use my fingers, my knuckle there as a guide and cut through about an eighth and a half in, uh, in width. Once I get just a little bit there and it starts to become narrow, just flip it down and keep the, the flatter side of the onion on the board and keep going in the same way until we get all the way through. And then your final product is going to separate out into these long strips of onion. I'm going to go through about four more onions and then, um, then we're going to start to cook them all. Okay, we're back. We've got our pot. This is the pot I'm actually going to cook the soup in. I've already got it on medium heat and it's been going for about two minutes or so. You don't need it smoking hot, but you do want it pretty warm. I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of the pan. Swish it around, make sure it's there. And then I'm going to add my onions. Now, like I said, I've got about four medium-sized onions here. I'm just going to add them slowly. Now, it looks like a ton, and this is going to fill up almost the entire pot, but that's okay, because as they cook, they're going to release their moisture and really shrink down to where, yeah, you can see this is almost the entire pot. Once cooked down, this is going to be maybe an inch deep, um, if that. We're going to turn up the heat a little bit. We're going to salt the onions. The salt will help again break down the um, break down the fibers and let the juices release. I'm going to put some pepper in there as well. Now the goal is to get these onions deep and darkly caramelized. You don't want to burn them, but you do want them all to be very very tender, soft, and brown all the way through. So I'm just going to give it a quick toss to coat some of that oil and get the salt distributed. And then I'm going to let these saute for probably 45 minutes to an hour. And um, just revisit them every 10 minutes or so to make sure they're not sticking or burning to the bottom. We'll, uh, we'll check back in a few minutes. Alright, welcome back. So, these onions have been going for 20 minutes. And you can see they're just getting to the point where they're wilting. A few on the bottom are just starting to get crisped up a, a little bit or get brown a little bit. That's why you want to come back and stir them every once in a while. But um, you can see it's reduced probably by half from where it, is, from where it was before. But this still isn't even, uh, isn't even close to being done. They're probably going to take another 25 to 30 minutes or so. Okay, so now we've been going for almost an hour. And you can tell, if you keep stirring now, it's, um, the caramelization is happening a lot quicker. So you gotta you gotta watch a little bit more closely. Come back, maybe stir it every two or three minutes. But we are looking to get the onions, the bottom layer against the pan there, to turn into that golden brown color. And we're gonna get almost all of them down to that color. You just gotta keep flipping them around so that they cook evenly. It um, you can see it's, it's it's far reduced from where it was before. I'm gonna go ahead and add two cloves of garlic. and let that saute. And we will come back to it again in a few minutes. Okay, I have now got the onions to where I want them. 
essentially the bottom of the uh, pan is crusted up maybe three or four times with that caramelized sugar and turned brown and I've scraped it up um, each time to where it's clean. So far I still have just the onions that have cooked down all the way from, remember they're almost at the top. Um, I've got a little salt in there, some olive oil and some pepper. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of flour. Now what the flour is going to do, much like making a roux, the flour is going to mix with the fat that is still in the pan within that olive oil and it's going to thicken, um, it's going to thicken up immediately but it's also going to give the soup more body um, to it after the finished product and, and just a little bit of thickness. Now you don't want to add a lot or you're going to end up with a a very thick almost gravy like consistency. That's why I just put in a, uh, a teaspoon or so and I'm going to let it cook for a few minutes as well to make sure any, uh, any of that raw floury taste comes out of it. I am also going to add a little bit of tomato paste. I love, uh, I love to use these little tubes because um, you can just use as much as you want. I'm going to put in just a couple dribbles. Now again I'm not really looking for a tomato soup or a tomato flavor to it. This will help um, add some richness and a body to the soup as well. And it will also help give it that dark, um, dark color that French onion soup has. I'm going to let both of those cook for a few minutes. As, uh, as they cook, again, they develop deeper and darker flavors. So I'm going to let that go. And then in just a minute, we'll come back and we'll add the uh, rest of the liquids. Okay, our tomato paste and our flour have cooked in for a few minutes. What I'm going to add next, now traditionally French onion soup has some alcohol in it. I've got some cognac here, probably two and a half to three tablespoons that I am going to pour in. Now, if you use a shallow pan, there's always a chance of flame up. Obviously, alcohol is flammable, especially when it gets hot like this. If you're in a deep pan like this, not as much risk uh, because you're away from the flame. Uh, but it's still there and you should be careful. You don't want to be over the pot as you put in alcohol into the pan. I'm going to let that go until it evaporates. As it cooks, it's really just going to take a few minutes for the, um, for the alcohol, alcohol to evaporate out of the, um, out of the cognac. You want to give it that few minutes to make sure that um, the final product doesn't have a heavy alcohol taste. You really want the flavor without the alcohol. I've also got about a teaspoonful of thyme leaves. I'm going to put that in there. I've used fresh, but you can certainly use um, some dry thyme if you've got it. And I'm going to let that go for just a minute. Shake this off. Now, the soup base I'm going to use is, uh, is chicken stock. Traditionally it's made with beef stock and um, I make it with beef stock all the time but frankly when I went to the store they didn't have the type of beef stock that I wanted so I bought some chicken stock and I'm going to go ahead and add that. I brought mine up to room, or sorry, up to the boil as well just so it doesn't take as long um, after I put it in cold to come up to the boil but there's no problem putting it in cold if that's what if that's what you've got I'm gonna give this a little stir just make sure get everything off the side I'm gonna add a couple bay leaves which are always great in these types of soups and long stews and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna let that sit for uh, for about half an hour let all the flavors melt together covered um, I'll come back at that time. Okay, welcome back. So my soup has been simmering for about half an hour now. Lift off the lid. And what you should have is a nice consistency. The onions have somewhat reconstituted. You don't want it too thick where um, it's overloaded with onions. You should give it a uh, give it a taste. Make sure you don't burn yourself. Check it for salt, for pepper. I think this one's spot on, so I'm going to leave it alone. Now, traditionally, um, the soup has a, uh, a, a piece of toast and then some Gruyere cheese on top. We'd roast that in the oven. Beauty about the soup, however, is you could just eat it plain like this. I'm actually making this for a dinner party um, that I'm having two days from now. So I'm just going to stop it here. I'm going to turn off the heat. 
put it in a, um, in a Tupperware container and hold it off for a couple days. Flavors will develop in the fridge as it sits there. And then once I'm ready to go, we'll pop it out and finish it off in the oven. I will, uh, I'll check back with you then. Okay guys, so next step on the French onion soup is to make the, uh, the crouton for the crust. You're gonna, in, each, in, in the cup, you're gonna have the cup, you're gonna have the soup, you're gonna have a nice little crostini on top and then some cheese. So I've got here just a mini baguette. I'm gonna go ahead, slice it and make essentially two rounds, just like this. Um, then I'm gonna throw it in an oven that's about 200 degrees, 250 degrees for maybe 10 minutes or so. You want to get nice and crusty like a crouton. Then we're going to set it on top of the um, on top of the soup, cover it with some cheese, and then pop it right back in the oven. Okay, guys. So I, we've got the uh, French onion soup complete. In terms of the uh, broth, I'm going to take it. I'm going to fill it into a bowl. It helps if your bowl is wider um, in the bottom and has a narrower top. I'm going to go leave maybe an eighth of an inch. Up at the top, I'm going to take some of our crispy crouton, throw that right on top, just fit them in there. And then I've got some Gruyere cheese, which is essentially a, a Swiss cheese. If you have any kind of Swiss, that'll do. I just pile it right on top there. And then I'm going to take these and put it in a 400 degree oven until the cheese melts. Let's, uh, let's come back and take a look at it once it's done. All right, so here we go. I've got the hot soup out of the oven. I put it in the broiler for about uh, five minutes, and until, just until that cheese got melted and golden brown, and uh, we are ready to go. So that's French onion soup, and I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.